Tommy Lee Jones has come home. Wesley Snipes. Nah, you go. Give me a reason. I've been trying to... Yeah. I might go crazy, I might go MJ back in the 80s, back in the 90s I might go off or they better not try me, it might get dicey I ain't tryna go back to the old me, I tryna hang on like my mama told me Let's move it Hey man, let borrow your gun all right, Money Talks, 1997. This was a pretty solid action comedy. Uh, you might hear the smoke detector here and there. I said that in another video. Uh, the annex of Chris Tucker are annoying every now and again, but for the most part, they work in this movie. What are you calling? Hello? Yeah, it's Mike from Michigan. Remember me? Yeah, you don't f me for the last time. Damn it, there's a bomb in the building. That's why it's a damn bomb in the building. For me, it's mainly the screaming. Uh, if they can get annoying, it's like, all right, bro, chill. <laughs> but uh, he's funny. He's funny. He's funny in this movie. All you've been doing is bitching and bitching and bitching ever since we got together. Yeah, so I'm bitching. So what? I'm not used to getting shot at, all right? Well, I'm not used to people getting me in this sh so shut the hell up. And that French dude who killed those cops had a stamp on his hand from this club. Charlie Sheen is funny, but he just kind of has one shtick in this movie, the kind of, you know, uptight reporter. Um... Yeah, uptight white dude kind of kind of stick is what he's going for. Uh, but he's he's funny uh, for the most part. But you know, Chris Tucker's the star of the show. It's uh, it's Chris Tucker's movie for the most part. Oh, you're the investigative reporter. Yes, I am. Get the f out of here. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Damn, you got a lot of pull in this town. Heather Locklear is in there too as uh, Charlie Sheen's uh, uh, fiance. Um, she's just kind of there. She doesn't really do much in this movie. She oh, yeah. So he's Diane Carroll's kid and Victor Moon's kid. So you're half and half Italian. Hey, Pazan! Hey, me and your father? Forget about it. Come here. Acts like he's uh, Vic Damone's kid, um, kind of goes along with that. Uh, it's pretty pretty humorous. So uh, Paul Servino, he's uh, pretty memorable in his uh, you know few minutes that he's up in the movie. It has a little bit of that ho classic Hollywood action uh, comedy plot where uh, it has something super unrealistic like uh, Chris Tucker is barely kind of disguising himself. A uh, basic plot of the movie is um, Chris Tucker and Charlie Sheen's characters team up with each other. Uh, Chris Tucker is a hustler who's involved in a little bit of criminal activity. Charlie Sheen's character is a TV news reporter who busts Chris Tucker's character. Uh, there is a Chris Tucker's character's name is Frank. I remember that. Um, there is a prison break and... Uh, most of the prisoners die except for uh, Franklin, Chris Tucker's character, and a few others. Um, so Franklin teams up with uh, the news reporter, played by Charlie Sheen, uh, to help clear his name. And, and Chris Tucker barely disguises himself. Barely disguises himself. Uh, it, it, it's very classic Hollywood. Some of the cinematography in this film is uh, really good. Uh, it takes place in uh, California. I think it took place in L.A. Uh, some, of the, some of the shots are uh, beautiful, I'm not going to lie. And uh, I'm not gonna go full uh, conspiracy theorist here, but uh, if you if you pay attention to like Illuminati symbols and stuff, there's a little 33 there towards the end of the movie. Uh, I did 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 notice that. Overall, I would give this movie a uh, three and a half out of five stars. A very solid uh, action comedy. Uh, they went they went pretty hard for the action. Uh, I didn't know how hard they were gonna go for the action since uh, you know Chris Tucker uh, was the the lead in this movie, but uh, the action uh, goes kind of hard. especially uh the finale uh, i'm not gonna ruin anything but uh yeah uh stick around for that for sure if you enjoy this movie uh three and a half out of five stars just because that combo of the comedy with uh, chris tucker and the, the action they have in there is pretty solid um yeah so that's my review for uh, money talks now on to garfield and friends one of my favorite shows of all time but first before i forget i'm gonna do a special little section uh for movies and tv shows that i review uh, check this out
Now, I'm super nostalgic uh, for this show. Um, I have the Volume 1 uh, box set uh, sometime in middle school, like I think 7th grade, uh, so around like 12 or 13, uh, the first time I watched the show. And I'd watched it before that, back when uh, Freeform, uh, before it was ABC Family, uh, when it was called Fox Family, uh, I watched it on there for the first time. So this show, this show is, I've been watching this show dang near my whole life. It still holds up, uh, surprisingly, as an adult. Um, yeah, because it, it kind of has like a satirical edge to it. Um, and uh, it's just it's just a funny show, you know. Comedy is comedy. Happy birthday, happy birthday, whoop de doo, whoop de doo. May your day be pleasant. Open up your present just for you, just for you. Happy birthday, happy. Happy birthday, whoop de doo, whoop de doo. People who sing like that should be drug out into the street and shot. So today I'm just reviewing uh, season one. My uh, my volume one set had a uh, season one and uh, like half a season two. Um, the show, like most shows, uh, it doesn't start getting like great, great. Uh, you know, most most like you know classic shows it doesn't get great, great until like the second season and up. Uh, but season one still has some decent stuff. So of course you have Garfield, John and Odie, uh, the main gang of the show. Um, then you have the U.S. Acres gang, who you know if you haven't seen the show. Um, based on a, a comic strip that Jim Davis, uh, who did Garfield, who, who created the Garfield comic strip, who also created the show Garfield and Friends, um, a comic strip he did, U.S. Acres, for a little bit in the 80s uh, that didn't run that long. Um, there's Orson the Pig, there's uh, Lana, Lynn, and Bo, uh, the Sheep, there's Wade the Duck, uh, there's Roy the Rooster, then there's uh, Booker, uh, the Little Chicken, and then there's Sheldon, who's still in the show. And and I think about I think that just about covers uh, everybody on on the U.S. Acres uh, uh, farm. This looks like a job for. Da, 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 da. Power Pig, come! We shall rescue Sheldon. <laughs> now those segments are not as strong as the Garfield segments. Uh, they get better once the second season rolls around, uh, but it takes a minute for them to find their stride. Uh, my favorite was the Bad Sport uh, segment in uh, episode six from season one, and then uh, the Keeping Cool uh, segment from uh, episode nine. Uh, those, those, I thought those were solid. Um, you know, they're not like horrible, uh, but but you'll you'll see if you watch. Um, Season one and, and season two, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about, the differences in the U.S. Acre segment. The main thing you got to look out for with those segments are, are the songs. The songs are, are pretty lousy, I'm not going to lie, they can be pretty bad. Hey, chill down, sis. How do you know you won't like it till you try it? Don't be afraid of something new. Doing something different doesn't hurt. There's nothing to be afraid of. No reason to have a doubt. You've been in your shell long enough, now it's time for you to come out. Uh, I'm gonna link one because the ending, how they ended is kind of funny to me. I mean, but bless everyone's heart, they do their best, but it's just like, why did they try to include the song? I mean, I get what they're going for, they try to have a moral in the song, um, but, but yeah, the songs just don't really work. Giving a gift helps a friend have a nice day. Overall, season one is pretty good. Um, I ranked each episode, and I'm going to link... Um, well, I'm just, I'm just going to say, uh, overall, it's a 6.9 out of 10. Uh, when I ranked each episode out of 10 and added them up and you know, divided them, all that. Uh, so just below 7 out of 10, so just below like a pretty good for me. Um, once, once again, I said season two is when the show really finds its stride. Here's my ranking for every episode from season one of Garfield and Friends. Episode one, 6.5 out of 10. Episode two, 6.2 out of 10. 
Episode 3, 6.8 out of 10. Episode 4, 6.5 out of 10. Episode 5, 6.5 out of 10. Episode 6, 7.5 out of 10. Episode 7, 7 out of 10. Episode 8, 6.8 out of 10. Episode 9, 8 out of 10. Episode 10, 7 out of 10. Episode 11, 7.3 out of 10. Episode 12, 7 out of 10. Episode 13, 6.5 out of 10. Now, for me, uh, the make or break here um, are the plots. Uh, what's going on with the plots uh, for these episodes, for these segments? So, I say season one, episode six, and season one, episode nine are my two favorite episodes for this season. In episode six, you first have Identity Crisis with the Garfield segment. Um, so, Garfield is uh, pretending to be uh, a dog, and then uh, that gets him into uh, some heat with the dog catcher while the dog is pretending to be a, mou- a mouse. And the mouse is pretending to be a cat or whatever's going on with that one. It's kind of weird, but it's kind of funny. Then the bad sport of the U.S. Acres gang uh, is trying to uh, uh, play a new game uh, that Orson found in this book. And then Roy tampers with the book and uh, tries to prank everybody. That's that, that's Roy, by the way. He usually comes with the prank. He's my favorite character on the, the U.S. Acres gang. Then with the Garfield segment, you have up a tree uh, where Garfield, in an effort to get some to uh, get some attention, uh, intentionally gets himself stuck up a tree and uh, tries to get uh, everyone to come and find him. Yeah. Then uh, episode nine, uh, first with the Garfield segment, you have the Binky show. Uh, you'll get to know Binky the Clown a lot on this show. He's one of the recurring characters. And now is Binky. Uh, Garfield goes on his show in an effort to get Gar- uh, an effort to get John a birthday present. Then I mentioned earlier, uh, keeping cool the U.S. Acres segment. Uh, Orson's brothers, also some recurring characters. Uh, they're some bullies uh, for real. Uh, Orson goes to uh, a Bo, who's kind of a kind of a stoner, uh, <laughs> kind of a stoner sheep, uh, for some advice. Then lastly, with the Garfield segment, this is like some classic, like cartoon stuff, almost like some Looney Tunes stuff. Um, Garfield brings Odie along with him on a trip to the fish store or the pet store where he gets some fish to eat um, and he tells uh, Odie not to move and then Odie goes on just his little adventure uh, two of my other favorite segments uh, just individual segments not full episodes um, all about Odie from uh, episode 11 that's a funny one and then uh, peace and quiet uh, the first one from uh, episode one that one's pretty funny too when you first get to meet uh, Binky the Clown um, episode the episode 12 segment green thumbs down gave me a nostalgia for real uh that song came on and i was just like oh my gosh radishes carrots and turnips turn up in the nicest places every day i see new faces in the garden <laughs> spinach tomatoes and lettuce whisper please don't let the bugs get us keep us safe and don't forget us in the garden. I remember uh, watching this. I remember summer vacation. D- does that ever happen to you? You're watching like a TV show or a movie you haven't seen in a while, or like listening to a song that you haven't listened to and wa- listened to in a while, and nostalgia just hits you, where you just get hit with like an old, like really good memory. You're like, wow, I remember when I was there. You know, that, that just happened to me while I was watching that episode. So yeah, overall, uh, 6.9 out of 10 rating. Uh, for TV, uh, I'm not going to do uh, out of stars just because like, like, there's a lot more variables, I think, with a TV show. Like sometimes with a TV show, they can really be with their stride for a few episodes and there could be like an episode or two of this dry. So that's why I think like out of 10 stars is more fair for a TV show. 
um for me like seven out of ten is like good or like you know decent you know pretty pretty watchable you know get some popcorn and watch uh, eight out of ten and up is where we're getting into like okay this is really good slash like great uh territory so just below like uh pretty good uh for me on this uh first season season two um yeah i'll be excited to review that I will mention, though, that Garfield Goes Hawaiian uh, from the first episode. That's the worst uh, segment. That one, that one just sucks. It's terrible. Um, I didn't even uh, watch that. Uh, Rewatching this this whole first season, I just skipped it uh, two minutes, and I was just like, nah. <laughs> so you, you can skip it too. Um, yeah, it's not even worth watching. It, it just, it's just, it's just all, it's just Hawaiian stereotypes. That's just the whole, the whole thing. Uh, Garfield has some cure where every time you hear something like Hawaiian, like. Um, like pineapple or you know you know something like that he starts breaking out into like a hawaiian dance yeah it's just it's just it's just not good yeah um every now and again there's a problematic moment like that i mean this cartoon is from uh the 80s so you know came out in 1988 so every now and again there is some problematic stuff but for the most part it didn't age like super poorly or anything like that it's not like watching you know tom and jerry or like maybe or something like that you're like oh wow blackface <laughs> anyway garfield and friends 6.9 out of 6.9 out of 10 and uh, Ode to Odie, uh, episode three, uh, the segment, last segment in there is just uh, Garfield uh, rapping. Uh, so yeah, um, it's kind of funny, but it's also cringe at the same time. I'm, I'm going to hatch him. Oh, easy now. Yeah. Sorry. And in some countries, they use it as a red carpet for very small visiting dignitaries. Step right up, kiss a chicken, only one dollar. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Why did every cartoon do this? Why? What? Why? 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 All right, that's been another edition of AAC Show Action Adventure Comedy. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you feel like uh, leaving a comment, uh, what are some good uh, TV shows and uh, movies that I should watch? Uh, as long as they qualify as action adventure comedy, um, they could be a combination. I don't care um, as long as uh, one of the three is uh, up in there. Uh, what are some good ones you think I should watch? Some ones I should review? Uh, drop them in the comments. Take care, y'all. Make it through the week. You got it.